And now to the successful manhunt. Israeli security forces conducting a series of raids in a Palestinian village in the northern part of the West Bank near the city of Jenin early Sunday morning, arresting at least six people in connection with last week's deadly shooting attack in the outpost of Humash, during which 25-year-old Yehuda Dementman was murdered and two others wounded. The internal security agency says the terror cell belongs to the Palestinian Islamic Jihad terror group, even though the Islamic Jihad itself did not take responsibility through its usual official channels. So for more, let's cross now uh, to I-24 News Middle East correspondent Ariel Osaran. Ariel, first, we must say it was a swift operation, the attack taking place uh, Thursday night, arrest early Sunday. What do we know of this large-scale operation? Right, Ali, a very large operation early this morning in the Palestinian village of Silat al Harithiya, not too far away from Jenin, which is on the other side of this crossing that's behind me. Large amounts of Israeli military as well as police SWAT conducted multiple raids, uh, resulting in the arrest of six suspects. They were taken to uh, their interrogation by the Israeli security agency, the Shin Bet. And so far, what we understand is that they were probably, uh, belong, they belong to the Palestinian Islamic Jihad group. Now, what was interesting about last night's or this morning's raid, as opposed to others, is that it did not result in any casualties. And that's key, because if it had resulted in injuries or casualties in exchange of gunfire with Israeli security forces, that could have flared up tensions even more and perhaps resulting in retaliation or inspiration attacks in response. So the fact that the six suspects were arrested fairly quickly, 56 hours after the attack, and that it ended without casualties is considered a large success for security forces here in Israel. And Ariel, we have been uh, seeing uh, this uptick in uh, violence, uh, Palestinian terror attacks uh, against Israelis. Most recently this evening, uh, an attempted stabbing attack in Jerusalem. And we uh, constantly hear this term lone wolf attacks. But it's a very deceiving concept because, A, in retrospect, we usually realize it was not really fully non-ignited by uh, certain terror uh, elements. And B, that there's a very clear ripple effect. So break it down for us. Right. So as I mentioned, we know that at least some are members of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad. But as of now, that doesn't mean that the group was directly involved in orchestrating or even planning Thursday's attack. And most of the attacks we've seen in recent weeks and months have been carried out by what Israeli uh, security forces call lone wolf attacks. We're talking about individual assailants without any large group overhead guiding them who carry out these attacks. Thursday's attack was uh, a little unique in this front by the fact that we know that they did belong to this group. Now, the difference between an attack orchestrated by a group is that it's better funded and uh, more properly planned. Uh, also, also, it's uh, it, it's c carried out with the use of firearms and perhaps explosives. Now, lone wolf attacks, on the other hand, are more, um, you know, sporadic. It's hard to uh, know about them in advance. They're mostly carried out by uh, knife-wheeling uh, ass assailants who don't share their plans with anyone in advance. And m many times it's due to personal grievances in their lives as opposed to the, the, the s typical uh, terror activist or someone who belongs to a terror group. The ages of these lone assailants are usually either very young or very old, similar to what we saw just over the weekend in Hebron. And these lone wolf attacks that we have seen a, a fairly sharp uptick in them in the West Bank as well as in East Jerusalem. Also today in downtown Jerusalem, we saw this attempted stabbing. And so this makes it much more difficult for security forces to thwart in advance. And also the fact that the security cooperation with Palestinian Authority is not what it used to. And we're seeing these terror groups, Hamas, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, raise their head and increase their foothold in the West Bank does make it more complicated for also Israeli and Palestinian security forces to uh, get uh, wind of these attacks in advance. If it's a lone assailant, 
even more difficult. And so what's key in the investigation now going on of these six is to try and understand how much they were uh, managed by the Palestinian Islamic Jihad to see if this could potentially, there are other cells uh, active in, 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 in the area here.